Today, finally, we are making a video that many people continue to request. It is so as you guys know, I made this for my brother last year and it's the video that has the most views for our channel. Uh, but since then, my parents who didn't get a chance to try it kept asking, when do we get to try some jige? So today is the day. We're really hungry, so bali, let's go. So I'm gonna start with cutting the veggies. First up, they pa. Putting this on the bottom, spread it out. Next, yang pa. Okay, let's cut this. Say so we pop up. Thanks, Kuku. Hangi pasot. Pani no kushipo. Sausage. Okay. I'm gonna cut them in two ways. So one is like this kind of pretty diagonal one. The other one, I'm gonna cut here. Oh, cute. Next, spim. Now I'm gonna cut this so it has two shapes. I'm going to smush it up so that the glue can absorb more of the flavor. Put it in here. So squishy. Put that at the bottom. Stack them like this a little bit, maybe. Dubu. Kurigo shin kimchi, hand spoon. Last time we didn't put kimchi, so this time I made sure to add it. Majimak. Beans. Maybe two spoons? Looks a little bit bujo okay, so I'm gonna add a little bit more. I like beans. Cheese bajimyeon and dejo. So let's add some cheese. <laughs> so now I'm gonna make the sauce. First up, we have one tablespoon of gochujang. Here we go. Then one tablespoon kamanur. Gukanjang, one tablespoon. Gokukaru, one tablespoon. And about half a tablespoon of sugar. So, ijongdo. Now mix. The yangnam's so easy, right? Actually, making budejige in general is super easy, right? Tastes good and easy to make. So I'm gonna put all of this right in the middle. Mm. So I got sago and gungur as well to add to this. So I'm just gonna rinse this off with that. One liter sago and gungur. Kaita kurija. Yeah. There we go. It's boiling, so I'm gonna mix it. Oh, mashketa. A little bit later, I'm gonna add some ramen too. Mat hambon porke. That is so good. It's done boiling, so maji magro. Ramen, noye dejo. Tadetta. Let's eat! Hey. Okay, we're on. Yes. So do you know what this is? Yes, we do. Yes, what is it? Army stew. Yes, do you remember how to say it in Korean? Um, Udejige. <laughs> do you remember? Ude Thanks for giving me a chance. I did, I gave you I gave you three seconds. <laughs> how does it look? Looks great. It looks good. good yeah. Ready. So because the we put the lamian noodles, you can see in the middle, they're gonna get super swollen. So mm -hmm. I'm going to just divvy it up now sure. before they get too swollen. Okay. So now give me your bowl. Thank you. It's different than uh, the video you made with Steven. Oh yeah. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Steven, do you remember how this tastes? It's been a while. It's been a year, eh? Yeah. So let's try the broth first, and then you can eat whatever after. Okay. Mmm. Okay. Nice. 
That's yeah. tasty. Mm. Make sure you try some noodles. Yeah, you can try some noodles together if you want. Uh -huh. oh, is that the star of the show? The no. noodles or the span? The span is. Okay. Mm. We'll start with noodles though, because they'll get swollen. Mm hmm. And then you guys can try some of the spam. Mm hmm. Well, there's something else in here that's more round. Is that hot dog? Yeah, that's sausage. Or sausage? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you guys can try some of the spam. Jogi, too. No, I, you I should some? Oh. oh, yeah. Actually, I like it. You like it? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. In a soup, I've never had it. That's right. Last time I think we ever made this for you was with frying. Like, you guys had fried spam. So, how do you like the, the soup style? Well, I really like the fried spam because I've never had it. Mm -hmm. But this is really tasty. Oh, yeah. In the soup. I wouldn't expect it. Yeah. No. Oh, my God. Steve, you already mixed the rice. Mm -hmm. Oh, did he, though? I'm going to try the sausage. Yeah, try that. It's actually like hot dog, too, you can use. Mm -hmm. All right. What? I actually like the Spam better. You do? I do. Oh. Yeah, I didn't think that. Yeah. What is bugo jige mean? Bude jige? Bude jige, yeah. Steven, do you remember what it means? Oh, sorry, you, you eat first. <laughs> Bude. Bude. Oh, my goodness. means army. Oh. Mm -hmm. And jige is oh. stew. Oh, all right. Army stew. And Steven, actually, there's something a little bit different about this that I added that we didn't have last time. Oh, what is it? So a lot of viewers commented. They're like, where's the kimchi? Oh. Yeah, some kimchi in there. Really? So this time, I did not fail them. I remembered to put the kimchi. Good. I was going to say, this tastes better than I remember. Oh. Might be because of the kimchi. Maybe it adds something. So does army stew typically have this many ingredients in it, like the tofu, the sausage, the spam, the mushrooms, even the kimchi that you missed before. Mm. Yes, it does. Really? Yeah. Yeah. There's like a lot. So as you said, like there's lots of ingredients in there, right? Mm -hmm. So I think maybe we mentioned this before, you probably saw in the video with Steven, but the origin of this is like during the Korean War, as you know, at that time, Korea, kind of the Korean people were suffering. They didn't really have much to eat at all. A lot of people were starving. Mm -hmm. And so at that time, like they couldn't even get their hands on any meat, let alone like other types of food. The US Army bases that were there, they had luncheon meats and spam. So whatever they kind of would try to get rid of, the Korean people would get that. Mm -hmm. So they combined it with whatever they had, like kimchi or whatever was there threw it together in a soup and made this like wonderful, delicious dish. Mm -hmm. It is delicious. Yeah. And it's like a dish that came from like, kind of like survival turned mm -hmm. into like such a popular dish. So, so yeah, it's kind of this meal has a sort of sad history to it. Of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. yeah, it really is. Yeah. I did hear the story, I didn't know of it, but I'm, I'm thinking about the spam and the meals, but. So it's really good. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what video of ours has the most views? I'm gonna go on a limb. I'm gonna say it's probably the Bude Jige video. It is. Yeah. Yes, that one has the most views. Uh -huh. So, and actually some people even commented, they're like, how come you didn't make it for your parents? Like, uh -huh. you need to make it for them. They need to try it. So finally, you guys can try yeah. it. Yeah, I was waiting for it too. Pleasantly surprised and my expectations are definitely met. Yeah. And um, Dad, do you like Spam better fried or better like this? Yeah, it is a good question. It, it, it is different. Mm -hmm. Like sometimes I like I like that. Like today, yeah, it's so cold out. It's nice to have a hot soup. Mm. There you go. Yeah. How about you, Stephen? Do you like the fried spam better, or do you like it like in this kind of style better? I think I like it like in this better. Me too. There's more flavors going on, you know. Yeah. Mm. I, I think spice. fried would be second though, because you, obviously you could eat spam just like that. Mm -hmm. But I prefer it spam rather than just like that, even if it's in a sandwich or something. Yeah. But in the soup, I think is the best. Yes. Yeah. Yum no sum, yo. Very good. Edgy. Oh yeah. Add some more. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Rice too? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. We're snabby. Do you know there's baked beans in there though? 
No, you don't. No. <laughs> There's baked beans oh, in here. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you see some little beans. Well, that's why it goes good with the hot dog or the spam. Yeah. Wow, that, I see it now in the pot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Weirdly enough, yeah, the spam is the star of this dish. Yeah, it is. It, it is. really is. I really it's like so it. so flavorful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not only that, I think because spam is usually pretty salty, mm -hmm. it being in a soup is better to give it salt to go into the the soup itself. Yes, exactly. So when you have it, it's, it doesn't taste as salty, which is good. Mm -hmm. We'll have a little more. Okay. Okay, she's gonna have a little more. I'll have a little more. <laughs> mm -mm. Yeah. No. What is this company? Mom gets go first, though. No. Yep. No. Yes. No, Appa first. No, you yes. said it after. Uh, after. Okay, I'm insulted. I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> I did my some juice. You gave her all of it. <sighs> That's good. I'm full. Just scrape this stuff out. You know, I do really think the kimchi adds a lot to the dish compared to what we had last time. And it was still good last time, but it's even better with the kimchi. Well, Angie, you're learning, right? True. So, that's true. You're not pro chef. No, that's true. So I, that's why I really appreciate all the tips the viewers give us Absolutely. all the time. Thank you, viewers. Yes, thank you. What's interesting is like there's a lot, probably this dish would be good for Westerners because there's a lot of recognizable ingredients. The cheese I didn't even know was in there. Mm -hmm. The beans, the spam, the mm -hmm. sausage hot dog type of things is very universal. So it's almost like um, a fusion of Korean style with the kimchi and the rice and everything like that and the gochujang and all that, but also with the ketchup, things like that. Mm -hmm. It's like very recognizable Western. So it's a good, I think you should serve it to more foreigners. Oh yeah, foreigners, they like it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. good. I mean, when they first see it, they might think it looks a little bit like interesting or not weird, but something unique because they yeah. see all the spam and they're like, yeah. why, why is there spam and baked beans in here? Kids must love it. Oh, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, if it's not too, I don't think it's too spicy for them, so. Oh. Actually, is this supposed to be spicier? I don't think so. Maybe you can get a little bit spicier if you put like more kimchi in there or more gochujang. If this is the way it's supposed to be, it's great. Yeah. That's perfect for my spice level. Yeah. Very good. Dad, how did you like it? It was delicious. I really enjoyed that. Would yeah. you eat it again? Oh yeah. Okay. For sure. I loved it. Yeah. I really did. I would definitely uh, share it with friends because I think it would be something that everyone would enjoy. Yeah. I loved it. Even much more this time around than the, the previous time we did. Yeah. Which I liked it then. Yeah. Uh, this I would eat a lot. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so. I'll teach you how to make it. Maybe next time you can make it. Okay. Uh, yeah. Me too. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you, you want to make it too? No. <laughs> I <laughs> made it for him. Okay. <laughs> that was Korean language time. Okay. okay. Nope. Yo, so you're gonna say bure jige. You're gonna say chota. 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 And you can say machiso. Okay. Machiso. Yes. Bure jige. Chota. Machiso. Chamo